Before you can actually start your thumbnail, you're gonna need to have a software application that can help you make a thumbnail. And today I'll be using Photopea, a free software that you can download right now on your computer that is almost completely like Photoshop. So let's get into it. For the thumbnail that we'll be making today, make sure it's a 1280 by 720. You'll see those in the top left corner. And once you have that, press create and you will have your blank canvas. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a background, but make sure it's not a very distracting background. What I'll do is I'll go on Google and I'll search up a background and test out a couple different kinds if I really have to, but I'll try to find one that's not too distracting but is bright and I think will fit my thumbnail needs. Once you find that image, save it to your PC, name it whatever you want that you know you can get back to it later, and then press file, open in place, and it should appear on your screen. Now, if the picture's small, just drag the corners out until it fills up the whole space. Now you need a main image. What I'll do is I'll go on Google and find an image of something that's in the video to use as the main image that's gonna be in the thumbnail. If you want an image that is see-through, type PNG after whatever words. So for my example, I'm using Spider-Man and then putting PNG afterwards, and it'll give you a clear cutout of the character with no background. Now you need to find text. A nice bold text that will stick out that people can read it, especially since most people will be viewing your video from their phones. I recommend if you don't have a font already that you like to go to 1001fonts.com. It's free and has easy downloads and you can download as many fonts as you want and they have a wide variety as the name suggests of fonts that you can use. At this point, you have everything that you need to make a good thumbnail. Now you have to put the pieces together in whatever order you feel is comfortable that will make the thumbnail unique to you. As you can see from the time-lapse video, I went through many different fonts, words, colors, and just small subtle movements here and there to get the thumbnail that I really wanted to. Don't be afraid to try different things with the thumbnail. I go through many different iterations of it. I'll have maybe six versions of a thumbnail for the same video because I'm testing out what works and what doesn't work. What color matches with this, what I should add to it, what images I should have, what images I should take away. So don't get discouraged by the first thumbnail that you make because realistically, it's not gonna be the last one that you make. And here's my end results. And now I'm going to file, export as, and you could do it as a PNG or JPEG. What I do is a JPEG, and then you make the title of what you want it to be, see which file it's gonna be sent to, and then save it. And then after you save it, you can go on over to your YouTube. You'll see a box that says upload thumbnail. Click on it and it'll bring you to your folders. Find the thumbnail with the name that you put on it. Click it and then press save and then you're done. Now you have successfully made your first thumbnail. 